Atelier Ariza. That's it. That's the video. See you guys next week. Okay, seriously though, the highly popular and long-running video game series, Atelier, is receiving an anime adaptation, and if you've yet to see the trailer, you're in for a treat. The anime will be based off Atelier Ryza, Ever Darkness, and The Secret Hideout, which released in fall of 2019 and was the latest game in the series until Atelier Ryza 3, Alchemist of the End, and The Secret Key that released just last month. There is a 90 second trailer and cast information available that I'll be going over today, but I'm going to spend a good portion of this video analyzing some key aspects of the trailer and discussing the animation. I have not played any of the Atelier games, so please forgive me Atelier fans. Heads up, if you want to skip this next section, it's some thank yous and then a follow up on some health stuff. Use the chapters in the description or tap hover over the screen and use the chapters there to skip ahead. Okay, so real quick before I begin, I want to say thank you for all of the recent support on my shorts and new Spirited Away video from last month. The Bleach short was a fun one. I mentioned last video that I wasn't at enough of a percent yet for a full return to content like this. I do believe, starting with this video, I can pretty much handle that again at this point, so thank you all for being so patient with me during this very arduous recovery. Next, I've got some interesting things planned for the summer that I hope to be implementing come fall. I'll update more on that as time goes on. Now, as for a sub-goal, let's shoot for a thousand by the end of the year, and in December we'll evaluate how close we got. For a convention and associated cosplay goal, you know what I'm talking about if you've been around. I'm going to wait for a few convention dates to drop before making any decisions on that, but that's it for this little bit. Things will get shorter starting next video, I swear. Okay, let's talk about Atelier now and... Hang on. I'm getting a call from the YouTube overlords. Hello? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, okay for you guys. Hello, it is us, the YouTube overlords. We noticed that you have not subscribed to this channel. Therefore, we require you to like and subscribe as part of your contribution to the state. Thank you. Okay, well, that just happened. Anyways... As I said earlier, Atelier is a highly popular and well-regarded video game series that has been releasing titles since the late 90s. Unfortunately, I have my reservations about video games and anime series. Look at Scarlet Nexus or Ark Knight. Ark Knight was incredibly well animated with great voice acting, but what was that story? It felt cut, lacking any meaningful explanation as to what was happening and why. Now, do I think the Atelier adaptation will turn out the same way? It's hard to say. Part of me wants to say no, and there's a couple reasons for that. First of all, there are over 20 titles in the series. Not all connected, so there's less story to cut and paste and more of a guideline, especially with the game that's being adapted. Second, the trailer and you're about to see why. I'm going to play 10 to 12 second segments to avoid any potential issues here, but a link to the full trailer will be at the top of the description. The first 12 seconds of this trailer introduce us to sprawling landscapes in a serene setting. If you've seen my latest Spirit of the Bay video, these kinds of scenes are called Ma. Its kanji means empty so free of distraction or excess noise. As for the colors, when I say the colors pop, I mean it. Just look at the way the sun peeks through the trees and the sort of haze it creates. The mountains in this scene have that feel to them. It's that kind of anime. Strong color palette, soft outlines, overall very aesthetically pleasing. The next segment introduces us to the main character, Ryza, and this will be what draws most people in. She's cute, sure, but look at her character design. There's no overshading or any of that excessively made character for the sake of emphasis. Take Boruto, for example, with this... Uh... Why do they do this again? Okay, but look at the folds in the clothes and the way they contour her shape. Look at the angle of the shadows and how the sun creates different balances. The clothes themselves are full of different values that create a realistic and summery vibe. And last but not least, the realism of her hair in the wind. Next up, the seagull. No, I'm not joking, lol. Look at its body when it begins to pull away from Ryza and the way it has to use its muscles to do so. Watch it again. It's quick, but it's fluid and very detail-oriented. Very animalistic. 
Once the seagull leaves, Ryza gets up from her place on the windmill. But watch this scene carefully. I'll play it back first. <laughs> yeah. Look at the way she gets up and the use of the fluttering noise of her clothes in the wind to create that sense of movement and action. Her overall animated movement, not animation animation, the way she's very cheery, already clues you into a very bubbly personality. The next scene involves cuts of her friends, which is what the story of Everdarkness and the Secret Hideout revolves around. It's a story of friendship and one that's true to you. I mean, just look. It's all smiles, a beach, a completely open world. This is everyone's and your kid's dream. Ryza runs towards the shore, giggling the whole time in a way that is so free and so full of life. This entire segment of the trailer is arguably the most immersive because of that free-spirited nature. The final scenes here introduce us to our friends again, but you already have the sense of their personalities. Ryza is clearly very free-spirited and ready for adventure. The boy with the yellow hair has that kind of cautious vibe and the traits of someone who's not exactly the fittest person around. The boy next to him has that air of total control and confidence. You can just see it in his face. When Ryza says, It's with such vigor and thrill. It makes me want to get up and have just as much fun as she's having. Overall, the trailer is absolutely stunning and packs a lot of incredible art in just 60 short seconds, but it gives you a lot to look forward to this being just the first trailer. This anime is slated for later this year, and judging by the fact we're getting the first trailer at the start of the spring anime season, this will likely be a late summer, early fall anime. Of course, without knowing how many episodes it'll run for, it's hard to say if this could be even earlier and one of those summertime adventure stories of you. Something around the lines of, it doesn't matter what happens, as long as I'm having fun. Which is exactly what this anime screams. Atelier Ryza has the potential to be a very endearing anime. Not for a romantic aspect, but for that inner kid in all of us. Ryza has the potential to be an amazing character with how much energy she has and that carefree attitude. It's hard not to see how those who might really enjoy this anime might find it becoming one that is very close to their hearts. Now, the cast for this anime looks small, likely encompassing the voices of the main characters and others throughout the story. The cast list will be up on screen, but it includes Yuri Noguchi as Raiza, Hitomi Owada as Claudia Valance, Takuma Tarashima as Lent Marlinsk, Yubi Kondo as Tao Mongarten, Hirofumi Nojima as Empel Volmar, and Haruka Terui as Lila Desiris. More info on the anime will be revealed on the 26th during the Atelier Rise of 3, Alchemist of the End, and the Secret Key Launch and Anime Adaptation, AJ Special Stage at Anime Japan 2023, Green Stage, and during a second event, Atelier Ryza, the four voice actors in the anime adaptation at the Animeplex booth on the same day. The Atelier games are available for PlayStation and Nintendo Switch, but if you're like me and don't want to be spoiled because this might be a really wholesome story, then maybe consider holding off on playing them until after the anime finishes airing. I really think there's a lot of potential here, and with Yori no Uchi having voiced Ryza in the games already, there's bound to be a lot more animation behind her character and the acting, so this could be a real treat for those who have already played the games. Hitomi Owada has had some prominent roles in big name games in recent years too, including several Atelier titles and well known anime, and the same goes for Takuma Tarashima with voices like Shiki from Eden Zero and Shiro from Log Horizon, Destruction of the Round Table. All of the actors in this list have voiced for the Atelier games at some point, as well as multiple other anime, including Pokemon Journeys, so there's a lot of talent and a lot of background being added to the voices in this anime, and I honestly can't wait. The anime looks like a ton of fun, and I'll probably pick up the games at some point, too. I mean, you even have VTubers talking about the games and making shorts on them, so... I think that alone solidifies the impact the Atelier series games have had on the community. But that's all the information I have on the Atelier anime adaptation at this time, and I really appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like and consider subscribing. Please don't make the YouTube overlords call me again. Huh? It is us, the YouTube overlords again. Make sure to like and subscribe.
Ahsoka was fleeing from a future that she was afraid of because she didn't know where the future was going to lead her. She was blessed with great looks, extraordinary talent, and a heart that cared about what mattered most, the ones she loved. Ahsoka slowly developed her character in ways not even 